Okay then, so now we have access to all of the brew data inside this brew list widget inside a list and we have that right here. So what we could do is go about outputting that data onto the screen. Now to do this, we're going to be using a list builder widget, which allows us to cycle through a list and output a template for each item in that list. Okay, now I've already covered this in great detail in my Flutter for Beginners series, so I'm not going to go into great detail about how it all works now. If you want more understanding of this, if you've not seen it before, I'll leave a link to the video where we go over that in the Flutter for Beginners series. But for the rest of us, we're going to now create this list view builder, which allows us to create a function and return a specific template or a widget tree for each item in the list or for each brew in our list of brews in our case. So then, instead of returning a container right here, I am going to return list view dot builder like so. And inside this list view builder, we need to specify a couple of different things. First of all, the item count, which is how many items are in the list that we want to cycle through. Well, we can find that out by just saying brews dot length because we have this brews list right here and the dot length property is going to get us the length of that list of brews. The next thing we need to do is create the item builder and this is the function in itself which is going to return some kind of template or widget tree for each item inside the list. So this function is going to take in the context and also the index of whatever item we're currently iterating. So to begin with, when we first start to cycle through the brews list and this runs for the first time, index will be zero. Then when we go on to the next item in the brews list, index will be one, two, three, and so forth until we've cycled through every item inside the brews list. So for each one, we run a function and we return inside here some kind of widget tree or template for that particular item in the list. Now, what we could do is create this whole template inside this file. But what I'd like to do is keep our code a bit more modular and externalize this into a separate widget in a different file so that if we want to use it somewhere else in the app, we can do. We can just import it where we need it. So I'm going to say brew tile to create this brutile widget or return this brutile widget right here. Now we've not created this widget at the minute. We'll do that in a second, but I also want to pass through a property to this brutile widget, and that is gonna be the individual brew that we want to create this widget tree around. So for each item inside the list, we're passing through a different brew, and we're gonna access that by saying brews and then passing the index. So that will be zero to begin with for the first item, then one, then two, and so forth, okay? So now we need to create this widget right here so that we can return that widget for each item in the brews list. So let me save this for now and then go to the file explorer and create a new file inside the home directory. And we'll call this brew underscore tile dot dart. So the first thing I need to do is import a couple of things at the top. I'm going to import material first of all, and we also need to import the brew model. So I'm going to say import, and then it's in the models folder, and it's this one right here, brew.dart. Okay, so now we want to create a stateless widget. So I'm going to say stles and tab, and we're going to call this brew tile. Now inside this stateless widget, we want to declare a final property and that is going to be called brew and it will be of type brew as well. So we say final brew. This is the type and then the name of the property. You can call that what you want. I've called it brew. It makes sense to me. And we need to set this property. And remember, we pass in that property right here. So in the constructor, we can say brew tile and assign this dot brew. So we're taking the value right here, brew, and we assign it to this thing right here. Okay, so now we have access to this individual brew object inside this widget. Now what we can do is return some kind of widget tree template for that individual brew. So I'm gonna get rid of the container and instead I'm gonna replace that with padding because we want to give this some space around the edge. Now inside the padding, we need a padding property first of all, and that is gonna be edge insets. And we're gonna do this only in one direction, probably the top. So let's say only and specify the top and that's gonna be eight pixels. So we use only on edge insets. 
to specify maybe one or two directions and those can be any directions top left right or bottom so we have eight pixels of padding at the top now and we need a child and this child is going to be a card widget now again i talk about cards a lot in the flutter for beginners series so i'm not going to go into great detail about them now if you want to learn more check out the other series the link is down below but inside this card we're going to give it a margin and that margin is going to be edge insets so i'll say edge insets and then dot and it's going to be from ltrb left top right bottom so we're basically going to specify different values for the left first then the top then the right then the bottom and those values are going to be 20 and the top is going to be six and the right is going to be 20 and the bottom is going to be zero okay so now we have the margin sorted the next thing we need is a child and that child is going to be a list tile widget now a list tile widget is a way to display bits of information in a little tile basically i'm going to show you that now so inside the flutter docs we can see this is the list tile class and they look a bit like this and this is kind of how i want to display my different brew preferences this one right here looks pretty good so we have a line at the top and that could be the name then we have a second line below that and that could be how many sugars they want and then we have some kind of graphic on the left and that could be a picture of their coffee and how strong they want the coffee so dark is stronger lighter is obviously weaker so we're going to use this kind of list tile right now and the way we do that is by first of all saying list tile like so and then inside here we specify some different properties first of all the leading and that was the image on the left so the thing that's going to sit on the left of every little list tile and that in our case is going to be a circle avatar now this circle avatar allows us to display some kind of image or even just a circle of color and that's what we're going to create to begin with so inside let me say the radius of this circle first of all is going to be about 25 pixels and then we can also give this a background color so background color and that is going to be colors dot brown and then this is the good part we're going to say bruise dot strength so remember the strength if we have a look at the brew model over here inside models wherever that folder is okay so we have the brew and the strength over here is an integer and when we first sign someone up inside the auth service class we say we want to sign them up with a strength of 100 okay so what we're going to do is use this value to control how strong the color should be so in the brew tile thing right here you know we can say colors.brown and then pass through 100 or 200 or 300 or 400 all the way up to 900 now 900 is going to be darker and 100 lighter so the brew strength right here is going to be that number and it's going to be either 100 200 300 so forth all the way up to 900 so that kind of is a visual representation of how strong the brew is going to be okay so we have this circle avatar now the next property we need inside this tile is going to be the title and that is just going to be a text widget and inside here you've guessed it the brew dot title and in fact it's not title it's brew dot name and after that we need a subtitle and that is going to be the little line that sits underneath and this is going to be to display how many sugars so again that will be a text widget and then in quotations this time we'll say takes and then dollar sign curly braces to output some dynamic content a variable it's going to be brew dot sugars and then sugar afterwards so we're saying takes and then however many sugars sugars all right so hopefully that all makes sense now and i think that pretty much covers it that's all we need we've got the circle avatar which will eventually be an image uh, with the color of the coffee inside of it but for now it's just a circle with a background color of brown and we pass in the strength we also have the brew name so the name of the person and then we have how many sugars so if i save this now and if i go to refresh then it's not going to work because we have to go to brew list and actually import this thing right here brew tile so let me do that at the top i'm going to say import and then it's going to be in screens and then we want to go into the home and then we want the brew tile like so now if i save this we can see these two things right here 
So now we're listing the data that we find in that Firestore collection. Obviously, these are both dummy data. Now we have two records and they're both dummy data. So now we can start the process of being able to update our own data when we log in by clicking on maybe some kind of icon in the top right that throws open some kind of sheet at the bottom where we can update our own preferences not anybody else's just our own and then that's going to update to reflect on the screen right here so we'll take a look at how to do that or rather begin that process in the very next lesson